Alert. It's been nice and warm out this summer and ticks love this weather too. That's a huge problem though because they can carry bacterial diseases like Lyme disease. Alex Almanza joins us to talk about all this. So let me get this straight. Alex, tick season is expected to last longer this year, but experts, they're telling you there's actually a decrease in Lyme disease cases, right? Yeah, experts say Southwest Michigan is a perfect home for ticks because of the sandy and moist soil. But despite the downtick in Lyme and other bacterial cases, health experts saying prevention is key. You may not see them with the naked eye, but these little bugs might turn your afternoon walk into a headache, maybe even tick you off. It's summer, and with warm and sometimes moist conditions, tick season is upon us. The issue? Southwest Michigan's sandy and moist soil is a perfect place for ticks to call home. Ticks can carry bacterial diseases such as Lyme disease and anaplasmosis. Now, I talked with Guy Miller. He's the health officer of the Berrien County Health Department, and he says both are treatable if caught early. A simple course of antibiotics from a medical provider can treat Lyme disease. Um, the very, very indicative presentation of Lyme disease is called a bullseye rash, um, but it's a, a, a bullseye ring kind of with the tick bite right in the middle. Now, Berrien County has seen a decrease in Lyme disease cases. In 2020, there were a total of 60 cases, the following year dropping to 48, and just last year, 35. Now in 2023, a total of 17 cases have been reported so far. It, it's a little bit troublesome because we know we have a lot of people who come here from out of town. Um, all of the kind of records that we get are based on your home address. Marcus Pigman is a Berrien County resident and says he's not only watching for ticks on him, he's keeping a close eye on his best friend too. I've only had bandit for five years and this trail I've not experienced or found ticks on Bandit in my walks through here, but I'm very familiar. Now there are some tips you can follow to stay safe outdoors this season. Experts say that using bug spray will help protect against ticks, as well as some of those other pesky insects, such as mosquitoes and gnats. You should also avoid tick infested areas. Now they live in grassy, brushy and wooded areas. You wanna avoid walking off path into tall grass and weeds. Now you also wanna perform daily tick checks after being outdoors. And after getting home, you should bathe or shower to rinse off. Now, in general, ticks need to be attached for 36 to 48 hours before they transmit Lyme disease. Now, dog ticks can transmit Rocky Mountain spotted fever, while the Lone Star tick can transmit alpha gala syndrome or red meat allergy. Important information. Alex Almanza, replace the camera. Thank you for that report. We appreciate it. <laughs> Spraying the camera there. Good stuff. Hey, new information tonight.